Italian 1944, a World War II shooter with a lot of promise. Developed by Bulkhead Interactive, a relatively new team made up of ex-developers, modders and professional esports players, they're looking at developing a World War II shooter much differently to what other dev teams would have to. Due to it being completely community-backed, they have the ability to look at making a game to please the audience rather than squeezing more money from them with DLC, something that games like Call of Duty and Battlefield have started to do regularly. The game is built in Unreal Engine 4, which is known to be reliable and well optimised, with the exception of Ark Survival Evolved. There's some great games that have been made in this engine, such as The Mean Greens and The New Doom, actually. So what makes this game unique? Well, the multiplayer system of this game has been done a little bit differently. They've done away with the modern levelling system where you could play for hundreds of hours and achieve the max rank just by playing it for a long period of time. Sure, a player with a much higher skill can do it in probably 200 hours, but a play with a low skill can still achieve that that max rank if they play for 900 hours. This multiplayer rank up system is going to be entirely skill based. Playing the game for 100 hours and unlocking the best attachments is not how this game does things. Instead, the player will have access to everything they need to do well at the start of the game and playing more and more unlocked cosmetic items like gun engravings and costume customization, a welcome feature that I'm very happy to see because after playing Hardline recently, I've been getting incredibly pissed off by the amount of kills I need to get on a weapon before I can even put a bloody scope on it. A pretty big part of the multiplayer is the battle rank system, which makes up for the little incentive that there is to rank up. It introduces challenges similar to that of uh, MMOs like dailies and weeklies, so it could be like achieve the most amount of knife kills in 24 hours or get the most amount of kills in a week, etc. Now when you start the game, you will be given the option to join a battalion, which you will then stick through for out a season. This is almost like a clan of sorts or a platoon if you're familiar with Battlefield in which playing the game and completing challenges will earn points for your chosen battalion. At the end of each season the best battalion wins and gets a certain reward. The scores are then reset and the process continues again from scratch. You can stick with your battalion or join a new one at the end of this time period. This really excites me as a player because I think it'll keep the community playing for a much longer period of time just because it's keeping people's attention by introducing new rewards and new challenges and stuff like that. There's no definite release date on this game yet, however on the Kickstarter page it does say May 2017 and there's supposed to be a beta and an alpha coming soon this year. So we've still got a year and a bit to wait for the final release, but there's no World War II AAA titles out right now depending on whether there's the next battlefield is going to be World War II or not. So these guys could have a real success story on their hands if there's no other World War II shooters announced in the next sort of few months. I've mentioned when talking about World War II shooters recently about the restrictions of the time period and why it doesn't really make sense for a modern title given the few vehicles and weapons to choose from compared to the modern military shooters that we see today. Where this game brings its variety, I think, is in the locations. There's multiple locations that have already been announced and more will be announced over the next year. What I'm most excited about is that this game is focused rather than other World War II shooters out there right now, specifically on infantry gameplay, which is a player who specialises in that area, makes this game very very appealing. It makes it even more appealing knowing that the dev team has ex esports players on there so I have confidence that they know what they're doing in terms of balancing and map design and things like that. Speaking of the dev team, that's something else that struck me when watching the promotional video on their page. This game is being developed by gamers just like you and me who know exactly what the community wants. They've just gotten tired of waiting for a game that they want to play and have decided to make it themselves. So because they themselves are avid gamers and know exactly what they want and what we want, I'm very happy to say that I'm confident in where I put my money. Speaking of which, at the time of recording they asked for £100,000 and have actually achieved £217,000, which is insane considering that there's still 18 days left of the Kickstarter to go. I think it actually achieved £100,000 within the first few days of its being announced, which is a job well done in my opinion. I myself have pledged £35 for the game, which means that I'll get access to the closed beta at some point in the next year, so keep your eyes peeled for footage from that given I'm allowed to release some of my own. The more and more I read about this game, the more excited I get for it. It really does look like the devs know what they're doing, and I hope for their sake and those who've backed it that it turns out to be a great success for them. Links will be in the description to the Kickstarter if you want to go and check it out and back it yourself. But what what are your thoughts? Are you interested in a game like this? Let me know down below and make sure to subscribe for more information about this game because it has definitely caught my attention and will be making a return to the channel over the next few months. If you enjoyed, don't forget to absolutely smash that like button and subscribe and I shall catch you in the next video.